My church is predominantly Latino. We now serve in the Austin community, and so now we're serving migrants. When these migrants arrived in Chicago at the end of August, they were in the first wave of many more to come, sent on buses from the southern border. Texas was sending buses to New York and Washington. The rumors were Chicago was next. The city of Chicago asked the Red Cross to get involved with the support of the asylum seekers to figure out how to run shelters. The Red Cross wanted to support as much as we can, and part of that is, comes through our partners and how important it is to partner with a church like Grace and Peace who's doing the work of the community. Within 24 hours, we were ready to go. When they are coming off the bus, they're full of trauma. The first thing I do is, is make sure that they feel safe. We give them a good, hot meal. Shoes, clothing, a shower, everything that they need. The difference that Pastor John has made in the migrant community is instilling hope by giving them food, shelter, allowing them to, to learn English, allowing them to work, restoring their dignity. We worked with the commissioner's office and we said, listen, we have a warehouse. He said, here we've got a food pantry, we've got outreach programs, we're doing works with migrants already. We've got all these programs in place. Here, like, look at, look at what we're doing, we can help. We've worked with over a thousand migrants. There's been so much that have come through the city. But when I call the commissioner, I say, hey, I got another family. He goes, man, what are we doing? He goes, hey, you're a flagship. You know, people are coming because they know. This man loves his community. He welcomes people who are hurt, who are injured, who are looking for a better life, looking for hope, looking for love, looking for acceptance. I'm proud of my team. When we work together, we can do amazing things.